it seems like every single year that there's going to come at least once or twice throughout the given year that there's going to be that must-have item that everybody is talking about. Every single one of your friends, every single news site, every single television show, every single talk show is talking about some must-have item, sales breaking records and shit, all the fucking money it's accumulating from said sales because everybody's got to have it. Whether it's an electronic or a game or some toy or some random ass item, whatever it is, there's always something out there and there's always people willing to go and just just run the fuck over other people to be able to get that at any cost whatsoever. It doesn't matter if they're morally depraved pieces of fucking scum by doing that, but hey, old man, you at least got that item, right? In this case, as you already know from the title of the video, it's Grand Theft Auto V. And, and you know, this is a real easy way for the media to go and just slap video game violence on this kind of shit. But now this is just flat out inhumane fucking pieces of shit being exactly what they are pieces of shit unflushable little fucking nuggets that won't go down the toilet you can sit there and fuck with it all day you can check the tank double check that shit you can fucking try to punch it it won't fucking go down it just keep coming right the fuck back up so let, let's make this shit even worse. You're gonna attack somebody for Grand Theft Auto V? You chose to attack a mentally disabled man who saved up for months to accumulate 60 bucks to go buy the game that he had been pining over. Two individuals, a fucking couple, a full-grown man and a full-grown woman with fucking peanut-sized brains waltz their ass to fuck in there, see? easy prey and go fuck him up and take the game. Was that $60 so fucking worth it? You're telling me you two motherfuckers, you useless sacks of fucking shit, age collectively couldn't pony up 30 fucking dollars a piece. You gotta be fucking kidding me. And on top of that, you would attack a mentally disabled dude? I swear, I fucking wish. You know, I, I I would get a fucking goddamn magic lamp, rub that fucking shit, Robin Williams pops the fuck out and asks me, what the fuck do you want? Put my ass in that situation. I would guarantee I'd knock you fuckers dead in the fucking dirt. And no, this ain't no fucking, oh, Alpha, you're talking tough. Wrong, asshole. Anytime that people do shit like this, you want to know what? It's one of those things that they need a swift and firm ass beating. Flat out, plain and simple. I don't want to hear no, oh, well, violence begets violence and violence doesn't solve violence. Sometimes you gotta knock a motherfucker out to get the point through their thick fucking skull that even a fucking jackhammer is not gonna be able to penetrate. This is that kind of shit that just fucking pisses me the fuck off. And I guarantee you it's going to happen again this year. Come this holiday season. I mean, Black Friday when people are getting fucking trampled to death. So people can go and buy a crock pot for five fucking dollars. That's the kind of shit. It's just like this inanimate object is worth somebody's fucking life. You're going to tell me that you need this shit so fucking bad. You need to fucking roll around on a fucking goddamn stolen car in Grand Theft Auto fucking doing random ass missions so fucking bad. You don't want to be the person left out during the first fucking week. You couldn't have saved up a couple more bucks and just waited like anybody else. But you don't got some fucking games your stupid ass gonna fucking trade in. No, you decided to go and attack. You had to go and attack a defenseless man. I'm telling you, that kind of shit that ever fucking went down. If you were even anywhere near me and any of my fucking friends or any of my fucking family and we saw that shit going down, you'd be fucking running for the goddamn hills. Now I sure you, I'm fucking fast. I'd catch you and you'd be fucking sorry. But you want to know what, despite all this shit, despite the fact there's fucking anger inducing hearing about that shit, I mean, I get mad about some shit, I rant and stuff like that, as you all know, but this kind of shit, it, it, it fucking pisses me off and then some, because it's like, you're, you're, you're fucking bad people, I mean, you get flat at, I can call you every fucking name in a book. I can sit there and come up with some clever goddamn little witty names to go and label you as, but overall, you're just bad people. Luckily, police caught them. They're in fucking jail. That's good. Glad about that. But you know what? Silver lining. Luckily, 
he, he didn't actually, he didn't succumb to any kind of serious injuries. That's really good. And the, uh, the people that were there, one of the people that knows him, actually donated a copy of the game to him. So he got it. But then got even better. Due to his running a GameStop that they were at, said that they would donate a limited edition, like the big bundle one, it costs like over $100. They would donate a copy of that to this dude. And somebody else had even heard about all this shit and was willing to donate a bus pass so this dude could get to and from work, which is something, you know, he obviously relies on public transportation to be able to get his ass from point A to point B. And hearing about that stuff, I mean, that that always makes me happy. That's one of those things like, you know, you just sit there and you smile because you're just like, damn, that, that's exactly what people should be doing is trying to help one another instead of being fucking straight savages you know just uh, I'm gonna go rob this motherfucker of a $60 game two people couldn't fucking come up with 30 bucks a piece and you had to go and fucking rob and, and in the description you can fucking see the news clip of it and stuff like that but I mean I'm happy that it ends on it but it's still one of those things pisses me the fuck off and I know damn well Oh damn well, it's gonna get fucking stupid as soon as the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 comes up. Shoot, I mean, if motherfuckers are going to rob people and attack them over getting a copy of a fucking game. You know damn well they're gonna do it for four and five hundred dollar game consoles that everybody's gonna have to have and shit sold out everywhere. You know something like that's gonna happen. You know that little brittle old lady is trying to get, fucking walk with it to get it home so she can give it to her grandson and somebody's gonna come up and fucking hit her because it's an easy ass target. And you know damn well everybody's gonna blow up over this shit and want that motherfucker's head on a stake in their front fucking yard to let other assholes know don't fuck with me and don't be a bad person or else this'll be you. And, and you can always play it off in October like no that's that's a Halloween decoration that's a uh, you know it's just realistic looking it, it even smells like one because it's been sitting out here. I mean look it there's maggots in this shit that's something else but you know damn well shit like that will happen. You know, when people are waiting in line for a fucking iPhone, somebody who's walking out with one, shit's expensive. So what's gonna happen? Somebody wants to take the easy road. Oh, I won't get caught if I do this. Just fucking just hit them and run. Then they do get caught. And justice. You know, and I, I would, that's why I wish Batman was real. Him just swooped out and knocked some fuckers' heads together and shit. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Ah, uh, in a perfect world, right? So, shitty news. Shitty people, great ending. So I can't an end this on a bad note, and I'm not going to end it on a bad note. So I can say that I'm happy to hear about this stuff. Everybody should be as well, but just realize this. Help your fucking fellow man. Don't be a piece of shit like these motherfuckers right here, or else everybody is going to want to see a hole put directly through your fucking skull. Not like there would be anything valuable to be lost up there, but you know just saying that nobody will miss you so if you have anything that you want to share you're you're disgusted with this entire situation or just happy to hear that it at least ended well then by all means and if not then you get to revel in my fucking disgust with me or you could just say no they deserved it at which point you have to be trolling unless you're just a despicable person but no seriously another case of Greed gets you no worth. This is Alpha Omega Sin. As always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, game the fuck on.